Amen. Hello, everybody. Uh, praise the Lord. I just um, want to be able to share a word from the Lord that he has put on my heart to give out to the masses of people, whomever that's watching this video. Amen. I don't need everybody. It just got to be somebody to take heed to the message and to share this message video to somebody that's out there that's in need of hearing the word of the Lord. Because there's a day coming. The Bible said the name is 811. It says that there won't be no uh, famine of bread, won't be no famine of water, but it's going to be a famine of hearing of the word of the Lord. But right now we still have an opportunity and a chance to be able to take heed and to receive and hear a word from the Lord. Amen. The Bible said also, um, it says that seek the Lord while he may be found. While he may be found, it's time to seek him. And the Bible also talks about his hand is stretched out still to those that have been untold, but to those that have been you know, rebellious. His hand was stretched out still to those people. But the Holy Spirit revealed to me that his hand going to depart one day. And that day is very, if it's not now, it's approaching very, very near. And I just want to be able to go in prayer and um to share to you all on what God has been saying to me. And I, I, I and when I say when the Holy Spirit give me something, I know for sure it's the Holy Spirit. Because I ask the Lord lead me into the scriptures on what he's given me. Clarity. According to that, it can back up what I'm about to read to share to you all. I don't share something that's out of my own mind or out of my own thought or what I feel is right. According to what the word of God, it is always right. Amen. So let me just go in prayer and as the Lord lead and guide me to all his truth. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your Holy Ghost. Lord, I was lost, but now I'm found. Lord, I was blind, but now I can see. Lord, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Use me according to your glory. And Lord, hide me in you. And Lord Jesus, you said in your word, if you, Jesus, be lifted up, hallelujah, you would draw all men to you. And Lord, do just that. And I ask you these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. So this is what the Lord has been dealing with me for the past week or two. Amen. God has been dealing with my heart deeply about what's going on with the masses of people. Now, the Bible said in the last day, many going to come in my name, said the Lord, that I am Christ. Many going to come in his name saying, you know, I'm saved or I'm, I'm a Christian. We living in a time that everybody supposed to be saved or to their own belief or whatever they call it. But according to the scripture, the Bible said Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. And no man can go to the father except but by him. No other way. Amen. So. The Bible also said that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. But I want to be able to share to you all on what the Lord has shared to me. Amen. The, he said to me, the Holy Spirit shared to me, he said that many are alive, but not awake. Many are right now in the day that we are living in. People are going to church after church after church alive, but not awake to what's really going on. Alive but yet in deep sleep. So when I asked the Lord, when he first gave this to me, the Holy Spirit gave this to me, it just, it just dropped in my spirit, alive, but not awake. I was like, wow, Lord, alive, but not awake. And then I said, they are in a spiritual coma. Many people are in the church are in a spiritual coma to what's really going on into the world of chaos that we are living in. In the United States. That's where I'm at. In the United States of America. Amen. So as I'm living here. And then I see stuff. That's going on in this world. And Jesus said in John 16. 33. He said in his word. He said in him is peace. But the world is tribulation. For you will be hated of all men. For my name's sake. Said the Lord. When you stand for the truth, you're going to be hated for, you're going to be hated of all men for Christ's sake. Amen. But it's a reward in heaven. We're waiting for you. Amen. But this is what I want to talk about. Alive, but not awake. But in Hebrew, this is what it stood out to me. Not in Hebrew. I'm sorry. In Romans. In Romans 13, verse 11. Amen. In Romans 13, verse 11, it says, and that knowing the time. That now it's high time to awake out of sleep. Awake out of sleep. Amen. For now is our salvation nearer than we believed. Amen. So when I look up the word. 
Amen. When I looked up the word coma, when I was saying when the Lord dealt with me, the Holy Spirit said, alive but not awake. It was just those words, alive but not awake. I said, God, how's that? I said, look up the word coma. And I looked up the word coma from Greek word coma, meaning deep sleep. is a state of a stream of responsive, un unresponsiveness, which an individual no voluntary movement or behavior. In other words, spiritually paralyzed. That is what's happening. There are a lot of people are spiritually crippled. They are unaware of what's really going on and taking place because church service after church service on Sunday morning after Sunday morning, tradition after tradition. And the Bible talks about that. Said that they had made the word of God none of fact. By the tradition of men have made God's word none of fact. By tradition. Oh God, help us God. Help us God. Help us Lord. Help us Lord. Please share this video. And as, as I was reading in Romans, and it says that, and then God led me to Hebrew. That's why I shared Hebrew just a minute ago, because Hebrew was in my mind to go after that. Amen. So after, when God said it's high time to awake out of sleep, then I went to Hebrew 5, I'm going to begin in verse 11. And this word talks about when, we, when it said, you ought to be teachers by now. But you still have to be taught. Verse 5. Hebrews chapter 5. Verse 11. Said. Of whom we have many things to say. And hard to be uttered. Seeing ye are dull of hearing. For when for the time you ought to be teachers. You have need that one teach you again. Which be the first principles. Of the oracles of God. And are become such as have need of milk. And not of strong meat. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. Verse 14 says, But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. It said to discern both good and evil. See, the Holy Spirit has been speaking, but a lot of people are not listening. See, it's a lot of people saying, peace, peace, peace. Oh, oh, God going God gonna to see you through. And if you still living in sin, God ain't going to see you through. God is trying to speak to you to call you out of your sin. I don't care if you're the president. I don't care if you're the governor. I don't own whatever you call yourself. Preacher, pastor, deacon, usher, evangelist missionaries, whatever you call yourself, child of the king, man of God, woman of God, God is calling us all to holiness. God is calling me to holiness. God is calling us all to righteousness. Amen. The Bible says he coming for a church with no spot, no wrinkle. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible said, follow peace with all men, for without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. So when I read this scripture, and it said that they're sensitive to exercise to discern both good and evil. So many of us are trying to talk about, child, don't speak all about that negative. Don't be so negative. Because, you know, let, let, let's, let's, think on, let's think on these things. But listen, even though it said think on this thing of good report, this is a good report. Amen? All right? I ain't got that much time. Let me, keep, let me continue. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please share this video. Jeremiah 6. I want to go to Jeremiah 6 real quick. Hallelujah. Oh, God, help us, Lord. Help us, oh, God. Help me, Jesus. Amen. In Jeremiah 6, verse, I'm going to begin in verses, I'm going to begin in verse 14. Here it says, They have healed also the hurt of the of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Verse 16 said, Thus said the Lord, Stand ye in the way, and see, and ask for the old path, where is the good way, walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your soul. But they said, We will not walk therein. That's verse 16. A chapter later, and see what it said. 
Jeremiah 7, verse 16, it says, Therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry, nor a prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. This is what the Lord is saying. And I know I'm past my time. And I know I didn't want to be before you all long. But I want to share this very briefly. And I'm not trying to rush what the Holy, Holy Spirit is giving me. Because this is an urgent message to all people. Amen. It's very urgent. Amen. There's no cute way. There's no pretty way about getting the word of God across. It's about just giving the word out to the people. And they need to take heed to what the word of the Lord is saying. Not what I'm saying. What is the word of the Lord is saying? But the Bible said, how can they hear without a preacher? And how can he preach except he be sent? Hallelujah. You need someone to preach this gospel to you that you may hear the word of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So, after all what I'm sharing so far, it says that in Acts 2.40, save yourselves from this untoward generation. Save yourself from this untoward generation. This generation is untoward. It's gone away backward. Amen. We got to save ourselves from this untoward generation. It's too much wickedness is, is increasing. And just as much wickedness increase, God is increasing saints right now to, to, to be empowered with boldness, to be empowered with conviction, to spread the gospel of the kingdom. Because that's when the Bible said, that's when the end shall come, when the kingdom is being preached. Uh, 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 all around the world. Amen. So when I went to Ezekiel, let me, let me go to Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 13. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ezekiel 13, verse 2. And hear, hear what it said. Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God, Woe unto the foolish prophet that prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. You have seen nothing. It's like a person just having blindfolds on, but my eyes are still open. You, you choose not to see nothing. Amen. And it said in verse 10 of chapter 13 of Ezekiel, Because even because they have seduced my people, saying peace, and there was no peace. And one built up a wall, and low others died with untipped a martyr. Wow. They saying peace, and there was no peace. I just got to reading that in Jeremiah. And also, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Let's see what it says. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, hear what it says in verse 3. For when they shall say peace... And safety, then sudden destruction coming up on them, as a travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that they should that that they should overtake you as a thief. You are a children of light and children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. After all, what I'm saying. Let us watch and be sober. If you know what's all going on in this world, the devil know he has nothing but a short time. So what he's trying to do is deceive the masses of people to be spiritually in deep sleep, in a spiritual coma. Many are alive, but are not awake. This message got to get out because what I'm trying to share to the people is that God is saying, wake up. Wake up. Many people are getting so comfortable of just church routine. Conference after conference. Program after program. Events after events. Is anybody so getting saved? But you more concerned about how much money you done raise. Are you more, you more concerned about how many members you done gained? Is their soul saved? Have they been delivered from their sins? Have you prayed that brother through enough that they really got the Holy Ghost? Are we tarrying people? Are we tarrying? Are we tarrying that the Holy Ghost? The Bible said we shall receive power after the Holy Ghost have come upon us. But see, we are living in the last days. The Bible said in the last days it's going to be men, lovers of themselves. Men with men. 
Women with women. People don't know their identity. People don't know their gender. What's going on, church? We are the light to be able to expose the unfruitful deeds of darkness. But look, I heard Paul say this one thing, and I'm about to wrap it up. He said in one scripture, one scripture verse, am I my enemy because I tell you the truth? Have I became an enemy now? Because I'm voicing the word of truth. I hope God bring a conviction because his hand is stretched out. But there's a day that God said in Proverbs chapter 1, he will laugh at your calamity because you didn't regard to receive his hand. Because you still wanted to do your own thing. And the Bible said in Proverbs 1, read it for yourself, take time. He said that you're going to eat the fruit of your own doing. If you don't turn from your ways, a miracle, if a miracle don't turn from its wicked ways, Planned Parenthood, same-sex marriage legalized, you 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 call, you making the the White House being rainbow color, but that's a covenant from the Lord. Oh yes, it's being exposed because this stuff has to be exposed. But guess what, church people are doing? I ain't saying all people are doing it, but a lot of people are shutting their eyes to what's really going on. Saying peace when there is no peace. I heard Jesus say, I ain't come to bring peace. I come to bring a sword. And that's what I'm just now bringing. A sword, which is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord be the blessing and the hearers of his holy word. In Jesus' name, amen.